easy3dbiz.com, giving you a second update on what I'm calling the uh, air battery. It's quite simply a piece of copper pipe with a tissue wrapped around it, sodium alligate, Elmer's glue, Epsom salts, and the previous video will show you how to do that. Um, once it's dried out, um, I'm putting a piece of magnesium ribbon through here, uh, through the layers. If you look closely in here, you'll see a layer of Epsom salts on the copper and then a layer of the paper run the um, magnesium ribbon through there. And take the voltage up here. I get about 1.5 volts. It's a pretty stable voltage. And I notice it'll climb after a while sometimes. Um, once it's fully stabilized, it'll start to increase in the uh, voltage. But uh, the best part about this is that on the inside right here, I have um, sodium alligate, which is actually creating a gel substance. And the gel substance is um, increasing the uh, retainment of the moisture, which is really creating a lot of um, energy because the moisture is being retained. Uh, with this one here, for example, there's no moisture in here. Um, it's fully dried out. It took about three days to dry out. But uh, the thing about that is when you don't have moisture, the current is a lot less. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, give you a quick demonstration right here. This one has had no moisture in it at all. So we'll go ahead and put the magnesium in here. Well, the moisture is basically dried out since it was um, since it uh, was applied a few days ago. And if you look closely enough, you see the voltage on there. It's pretty dead. So it's almost like uh, nothing coming out. But as soon as we add some water. it instantly kicks up instantly right now at a steady 1.5 but the good thing about these is because the materials are so light the minute the water hits the um, the cellulose the, the current jumps instantly and because we have the sodium alligate uh, gel in there um, basically the sodium alligate gel keeps it moist for a very very long time so that's um, that's pretty good for a piece of copper pipe with the Epsom salts and uh, Elmer's glue, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, water really boosts the voltage. But as explained in my previous video, um, these cells will um, maintain a current voltage without the water of about 0.7. So even if it's completely dry, you'll still get some voltage out of this, which is really good. The water does nothing but boost it. Um, one of my earlier versions. Basically, this is one of the other batteries that was made. Um, it had run dry also. Very, very little voltage. Once again, when uh, water was added earlier, it uh, actually gave it more voltage. So uh, this one is uh, 0.6. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and add some water. There we go, it's almost a, over a volt. So this one's uh, 1.153, just by adding water. By the way, the polarity is reversed on this, so you know, it's not that big of a deal, but uh, it gives you the voltage. So the uh, addition of the water really seems to volt, uh, boost the voltage. But the best part is we'll be able to get the size down to a, um, a very, very small size and get uh, almost a volt and a half out of this with the moisture. Um, when it's not, when it's completely dry, it's still about 0.7 volts. So that's pretty darn good. And to stop the flaking, as I explained in my previous video, um, when the uh, Epsom salt is dried and also the Elmer's glue and the sodium alligate, it'll flake like this. It's very flaky. But uh, a layer of sodium silicate actually pretty much takes care of the flaking. It's a lot less reduced. So basically all these, uh, these are the four batteries that were explained about three or four videos ago, um, basically how they were made. Um, what we're going to do next is um, basically apply hopefully another layer of copper paper or copper foil around the outside right here and make another layer and then do another coating of the Epsom salts, Elmer's glue, sodium alligate, so we can make another layer and slowly work our way out with an increase in layers. 
and then keep the layers um, insulated from each other so they don't short out and uh, see, if we can in see if we can increase the voltage that way. If not, they can always be put in a um, uh, triangle type formation like this and uh, keep the energy going also. But the best um, next uh, avenue of research I think would be to do a layer. And uh, once again, uh, the sodium alligate is doing a really good job. It's been three days and um, I was still able, even without having to water it, I have still a little bit of sodium alligate right in here. After about three days, it was still enough in here to push the, magne uh, push the magnesium in like this and I, I was actually get about 1.5 volts. So um, another factor on the next um, the next series would be increasing the thickness of the gel right here to keep the moisture. And then most likely, seeing if we can put like an airtight seal in here to once again reduce the amount of moisture that's evaporating. And um, future versions would probably have like a cork at the top where you can just insert the um, water in here pull it out, keep the moisture going, keep the gel moist and um, by keeping the gel moist you keep the current strong and um, also hopefully um, reduce the amount of corrosion by using distilled water and the sodium silicate. So um, it'll be interesting uh, to see uh, how the other versions turn out but um, once again thank you for watching this easy 3 d Biz giving you an update right here and have a wonderful week and good luck on your zero point energy research. Bye bye.